Yeah. And then we need to close that door to like uh, make it absorb the pressure and then you go here. Jesus Christ. This is so weird. So it's travel day. I've gone to Turkey. I'm going to Istanbul. Last little glimpse of Dubai for me. I spent three months and five days here. I've come out on the 28th of December 2020. It's now the 2nd of March. Second of March, second of April. It's now the second of April, twenty twenty one. So I was heading the second to the thirteenth in Istanbul. Um, yeah, flying in now. Going to head to the airport in about thirty minutes. All packed up, ready to go. Should be a smooth, effortless trip. Only like four and a half hour flight, something like that. Not bad at all. And while I'm here, doing nothing in the hotel, the Middle East champs has started. It's the junior session right now. But uh, Adam Perry, all the Hamilton guys you've seen, all racing. This uh, this weekend at Belize Champs, I'm pretty gutted to be missing out. Would have liked to have thrown down with them. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm doing, and this is what they're doing. We are swimming, heat number 14. This was actually a pretty damn good race, and I'm glad it got recorded so I could watch it back. And actually, um, about a week prior, I think exactly a week prior, me and Adam went and done a broken swim session with Hamilton on a Friday morning and they actually touched at 50 on that 0.1 separating. Henry slightly ahead there and, and in the actual race Adam did flip first. But then on the back end 50 they were together like here to about 35 metres um, and then Henry starts to pull away as you can see here. He just seems to have a little bit more drive in his legs. And um, yeah, he got the, the victory of 51.5 to 51.9 PV for Henry. <sighs> oh yeah, stay hydrated when you fly guys. So first thing I've got to do now is get some Turkish Lira so that I can get a cab to the guest house later. There it is. So there's some lira coming. I was hoping to get rid of these coins because you can't get rid of these coins anywhere. Pretty sure I've had these the whole trip and they've been rejected back to me. Here we go. Turkey money. Turkish lira. 350. I'm not even sure how much that is in British money, but we got some. somehow managing to edit vlogs on the plane while looking at the flight stats. Right about now, if uh, I'm not mistaken, here's an ad should be thrown down. Now should I have the footage of them racing, I'm now going to play it. Got some pretty cool views uh, under the clouds with these snowy mountains. I think we're, we're roughly around Afghanistan right now. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. We just flew over Baghdad, but yeah, really cool views, really cool views. Training camp Istanbul, here we come. What, what was your session today? Uh, we did race process, 150 off the blocks with the suit. Time? 
Come on. <laughs> no, 119. 119? Yeah. That's freestyle, not fly then. No, freestyle, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's serious. Uh, that's serious. Well, it wasn't anything off, but that's good. it's just race prep. Nice. Uh, yeah, meat. Yeah, just got to my place in Turkey, Fenerbahce guest house. Craig was here, he's been training here for two months. He's helped me set up the food situation, yeah. a little delivery website because uh, a lot of places are closed or not open at certain times and stuff at the moment here. He's giving me all healthy places until we put burger place on <laughs> that. Good. And that's the only place I'm gonna eat for the next week. So if I put on weight, it's Craig was for. Yeah. So um, first issue, plug sockets. Not the usual type, the European type. I don't have an adapter. And uh, meeting Craig or for breakfast at eight, we're gonna walk to the pool. You know me, the odds of me waking up tomorrow at eight without an alarm are extremely low. So, I'm gonna go on a little adventure. Hopefully, the receptionist will have a spare adapter. So I'm gonna charge my phone, and consequently have an alarm. I've been given this. But I don't think this is going to work because this doesn't go in the wall at all. Let me know what's going on here. But yeah, this is my, my only hope of getting up in the morning. Why on earth is the sign upside down? I'm so confused. It's the wrong one. Oh no. Me and Craig, well, I've just uh, had breakfast at the hotel. He's now leading me to the pool, which I think is like a three minute walk, which we love. Not far away. Unfortunately, he's been set on his way back to Estonia before he goes to race in Stockholm, so he won't be training this morning. I don't know if I'm getting in. The team got in the pool about 20 minutes ago, so I don't know if I'll get in. I'm allowed to get in. But I, didn't, I wouldn't have wanted to do their whole session anyway. <laughs> I love how anything, everything's like hardcore Fenerbahce branded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even even like the woman this morning at breakfast is like wearing Fenerbahce everything. Yeah. yeah. And then we need to close that door to like uh, like just use up the pressure and then go here. Jesus Christ. This is so weird. So I've just been for my first swim in the Fenerbahce training pool. This pool is crazy, right? So it's an outdoor pool, but because it's colder at the moment here, I think it's their winter, they've got this massive bubble over the pool. So I think just after I leave, they're gonna take the bubble off. And then there's like the marina with all the boats all out here. So I'm missing out on an epic outdoor pool with an awesome view, but regardless, um, lovely eight lane pool, 50 meters, good blocks, all the gadgets around the pool side, like the buckets here. Yeah, just some easy 2K today, and uh, start swimming properly again on Monday. And we'll try to get back in. Swimmers Poyas, uh, he's going to take me around and show me the sights, but uh, apparently before we leave, we have to feed the cats. Oh, look at this. Oh, hello. I've just got back to my hotel room, and I think I've been left a little goodie, goodie batch from Craig. Good guy, nice guy. Little goody, little goody pile. Cheers for that. I've 
just walked about 30 minutes to go shooting with Smulawan, who's also in Istanbul. I found her, but it's shut. I'm going to have to get the metro still. Let's look at the smooth cat. There's smooth ones. The smooth ones everywhere. So, shooting place sharp. We're going to another shooting place. Apparently. Shooting to shoot guns. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool view, isn't it? I was making that noise. We're going on the metro, and I don't own a metro card, so I don't know how we're going to sort that out. Dolly's got one. It's not as similar as buying one, apparently. We'll see how this goes down. We're going underground, under the river slash sea. Me and Small are going down to the metro. Basically, what I didn't anticipate is my ch all my plugs wouldn't work in this country, so I can't charge my computer, my cameras, my phone. So Dolly has an adapter, and we're apparently using the metro station to charge my phone. But this is obviously a short-term solution, not a long-term solution. Is it do? No. It may look like I'm travelling around Istanbul via metro, but I'm not. I've walked about 9,000 kilometres. I feel like the Proclaimers song. And now, oh, them steps hurt. Oh, I'm not tapering right now. I'm the opposite of tapered. Oh, now we're going underground, but we've gone overground to go under the sea. I don't understand anything. Oh, I'm not going to get home. Dolly's going to leave me. I'm never going to get home. I'm so tired. I don't know what's happened, but we're on the metro and we've just stopped and we're just sitting here. While waiting for the next metro, I've got this epic pizza-like bread and Dolly's found a bug socket so I can charge my phone. It's a win-win. We finally got to shooting. It was closed. Spent the whole day getting to shooting. We might go shoot tomorrow. I'm in a very emotional mood. <laughs> We're now going to hopefully go get dinner. I want to go to the Salt Bay place. But I've got a feeling it's going to be close when we get there. And I'm going to end up eating a pack of crisps from the supermarket and crying myself to sleep. I went here to here <laughs> to go back to here. And Nose is going back to here. <laughs> <laughs> We're like human boomerangs. And we achieved nothing. So I'm on a train, I just got a message from Henry calling me out because he's just had a few PBs at Middle East Champs and he beat my 53 by three hundredths of a second. Also had a great 100 and 200. has been righted with the world. I've got lamb sheesh. I've got an adapter for my chip phones. I can charge everything and make more vlogs. Dolly's got chicken sheesh. We're in a lovely local restaurant. We're happy. And with that, I'm going to sign out this first vlog from Istanbul. Subscribe, all of that. Whoa. I know I've already signed out for this vlog, but like, look at this. I've uh, obviously left Dolly. Three different metro trains and now I've got how long left of my walk about 30 minutes 23 minutes left of my walk um, 2k left now considering my phone's been dead for most days I didn't have a charge until now I've walked 16,000 steps 11.3 kilometers which with the two I'm about to do brings me up to 13 and a half k and considering how much this didn't track because it was dead, I'm not lying. I reckon I reckon I'm gonna have walked easily in excess of 15k today. Considering I swam as well this morning, had a nice rolling session. Basically, long story short, I'm an endurance athlete now, and I might have to get in touch with British Shoeing to scratch me from the 53, put me up in the 15. I mean, someone's got to go with Dan Jervis the Olympics. Might as well be me. But yeah, what a view, what a place. Istanbul, really impressive so far. Only 24 hours in, but really stunning. Friendly people, cheap as hell. Seriously, so cheap. 
I'm, I'm not even spent 10 quid today and I've eaten out three times. Been on a train all day, honestly. I'm pretty sure that they're putting money into my bank account when I get on the train. I'm not joking. But you get a refund after you've been on it and it's pretty much the same as what you paid for the train. I'm not joking, one, one, one train cost me 12p. Very cheap, very lovely. Fenerbahce Swimming Club been very accommodating so far. I'm looking forward to getting a full training weekend with them, see what uh, Coach John and the rest have, have in store for me.